This is the MKS 647B multi gas controller. The unit has four channels but can be upgraded to accommodate eight channels by adding a second channel plug in unit in the rear expansion port. It also has one pressure channel for independent or ratio based gas flow control. The system is menu driven. Data entry or quick parameter changes are easily accomplished and there are five programmable gas recipes which allow the user to custom mix combination of gases. Additionally, there is a separate RS-232 communications port that enables the unit to be remotely controlled. Let's first take a look at the rear of the unit These are the connecting ports, which is a standard 15-pin D-shell cable for channels 1 through 4. This is also the unit that can uh, be duplicated in this port right here that would allow you to run 8 separate channels. In addition, here is the RS-232 port, uh, a separate pressure port, as I mentioned, and an accessory and a port that can drive different relays as a result of the gas control. For purposes of our demonstration, we are also going to use an MKS mass flow controller. We have attached uh, 40 PSI of nitrogen to the controller and we will test each one of the channels by plugging them in. Again, this is a standard 15-pin D-shell straight-through canable. There are no twisted pairs or anything like that. So first, we'll turn off the unit. Plug in the first channel. Turn it back on. Now let me explain something first about the uh, different menus. The first one is the user display. This display shows the uh, actual gas flows of each one of the channels, which at this time is not running. Uh, it also allows you to look at the total flow. Now the total flow is the sum of whatever channels are on. And you can even change the uh, units of measurement from um, uh, here we have liters per minute here we have cubic centimeters per minute cubic feet per minute cubic feet per hour and uh, cubic meters per minute um, it also allows you from the first display to go into different gas menus that you had previously programmed you can step through them here they are all maintained in memory and you can put uh, five different menus in there. The next display is the extended display. This display also shows while well, the gas rates are running uh, but it also allows you to edit um, the set points of each one and also turn off the individual um, gas channels one at a time if you wish. The next one is pressure control. Pressure control allows you to set the gain. Uh, in electronic terms the gain in the amplifier is up and down that would um, accelerate the reading process so you can speed it up by either um, uh, raising or lowering the gain. Next is diagnostics. Diagnostics consists of two. One is a list of errors, so while you're running, if um, one of the gas flows goes out of the limits, it will signal and put up an error code. Oops, Oop, let me go back to that. Now signals 
actually will show you the signals going in and out. Very simple. It's from minus 0.5 volts DC to plus 5 volts DC. So when we do our demonstration, you will actually see the voltage values going in and out. The, this is, of course, our four active channels, and these four uh, would be the accessory channels that could be installed. Tell me when. Go ahead. The um, instrument setup uh, allows you to change different parameters. Uh, for example, use this one here. Uh, this would allow you to change, the, let's say, the, uh, the full-scale range of each one of the um, channels by simply going up and down with the scroll keys. System setup uh, has to do with the remote communications, the standard type of um, parameters that you'd see for operating an RS-232 communication. And it also has a very unique feature too, that many times these are rack mounted systems that might be low or high in the, in the cabinet. So there's an actual program in here that allows you to tilt the LCD display so you can have it shade one way or another and be able to see it at different angles. Last is the pressure setup which allows you again to change the range of the actual pressure. And the last one is just information on the system, uh, product information from the company. Now I'd like to go back to this one here, extended display. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in channel one and we're going to operate it. Now, I'd also like to mention that, again, um, if you need, for some reason, to make your own cables for anything, the operator's manual is excellent. Uh, it's not only um, uh, written very well so you can understand how to operate the unit, but it also has all of the pinouts for RS-232, IEEE 488 if you use that type of communication. The relay connector is all here and importantly is the actual channels themselves. This is this cable here. So if you had to make your own cables that information is available. Now let's run channel one and give you a demo here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the channel. Now, hold on, let me fix that. Okay, channel one is now on. You will notice that um, it has been set. The set point is 100. It is Pulling at 100, the full scale range is 100. If we were to change the set point, the range would change as well. That's the actual flow rate. We can always check the signal. Now remember, the signal is from minus 0.5 to uh, plus 5 volts DC. So let's say we were to go out to diagnostics and look at the signals. Well, we can see that channel one is now on. It's about half the voltage that it should be, both in and out, because that's where we set our set point at about half point. Um, if, let's say though, we went over that set point, then what we would have to do Let's say we put in 150. It would flag you and notice that it won't go over 
much more than 10%. It's a plus and minus 10% variance that you're allowed on that. Uh, of course, we could change this right here, the full range, and uh, we could solve that. But for now, let's just go back to our and it reads us. Now, we will now show you that all of the other channels work properly. Channel 2 is now controlling the mass flow controller. Once again, we could change that set point. We'll just do one real quick here. And it would change as well the flow rate. We will now switch. Channel 3 is now reading. And of course, we can always turn it off. And we will now do channel 4, the last channel. We're going to change the set point here for a minute. Down to even half of that yet. And it is reading proportionally as well. If we were to just check this one on the diagnostics uh, signals, that would be one quarter, so that would be about um, um, 1.25 volts. Oops. And of course, while it's running, we can see that these three channels are now shut off and the fourth one is activated. Um, once you do a run through this, it's very simple to operate, very simple to change all the parameters, and uh, incredibly accurate. 